What's going on guys? It's Dramon and today we're going to be doing another Bread Beast unboxing. I just got this in so I can't wait to see what's in there. But before we get started, I need to remind you guys that I have a promo code with Threadbeast. So if you're interested in getting a Threadbeast, you don't have one and you want to try it out, you can go over to their site and sign up for yourself. But be sure to use the promo code JERONMON50 because that's going to give you $50 worth of free stuff in your first box. And who doesn't like free stuff? I know I do. I don't know what's in this box. So what kind of free stuff you're going to get, I have no idea, but I can't wait to find out, so let's check it out. All right, let's open this bad boy up, see what we got in here. All right, I see a lot of blue. This is a long sleeve shirt folded very nicely, kind of a denim blue color. This should be pretty cool. I'm probably not going to button it up all the way because it's just way too hot for that. I'll probably let it fly like P. Diddy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what is this? I've never got something like this in my Threadbeast box. It looks like some glasses okay diamond supply coat glasses faded vermont colorway i don't know what that is let's see what it is Ooh, comes in a very nice case check that out and it comes with like uh what are these called bandolier no not a bandolier man i'm blanking out i don't know what that's called the thing that clips on and off and climbers rock climbers use them whatever those are called carabiner you idiot Ooh, these are actually kind of nice check out these glasses that i got from Diamond Supply Co. They're like faded clear to red. Red's my favorite color, so wow, these are sunglasses. Let's see what they look like. They won't match the hat, but you know. Oh, everything is like an amber color. This is nice. Wow, the lights, I didn't know the lights were that bright until I put these on. This is actually kind of comfortable. Should I do the whole unboxing with these on? I don't know. Nah, we're not gonna do that. That's that's just too much, that's too much. But this is pretty cool. I've never got glasses in my Threadbeast box, so this is a first. That's pretty cool. Definitely gonna be rocking these for the summer because you know the sun is just merciless. These will definitely be useful. The next thing that would be useful in the sun is this hat. What is this hat from, Huff? Yep, it's from Huff. You got the blue, you got the white, you got the red. Really American. Ah! You can never have too many hats, you know what I'm saying? because you need to match with all the outfits, but I can't really see from this far. The camera's just far away, I don't know, but there you go. Huff hat in the Threadbeast box. Let's see what's next. Put my hat back on. Next, we got some sweat shorts. Okay, 98. That looks like the 76ers logo right there on the left leg. It's from Diamond Supply Co. Again, again, you're getting that blue navy color. I told you there's a lot of blue in this box, but sweat shorts are really comfortable. I've recently just started wearing sweatshorts i don't know what took me so long but in china when i was wearing my sweatshorts i was super comfortable on the planes all of that on the long bus rides along car rides i was like man sweatshorts they're the real mvp super comfortable easy to put on these are the real mvp so i can't wait to rock these let's see what we got next looks like we got some jean shorts oh i thought they were jeans but they're like you know what these aren't really jean shorts they're made to look like jeans but they're just regular shorts are they denim? Let's see the materials. No, they're not denim. Polyester and cotton. But they're made to look like denim. And these are by Volcom, by the way. So not Diamond Supply Co. And Volcom, these are actually my favorite shorts to wear. I have a ton of Volcom shorts. None that look like this, though. So I don't know. I guess I'll be rocking these jean shorts. Man, I haven't worn jean shorts since, like, the 90s, guys. Jean shorts. Stop wearing jean shorts. Just trust me. But again, they're not jean shorts. They're just made to look like it. So there you go. Volcom faux jean shorts. So uh, let's see what we got next. All right, we got a couple shirts left. This is another red, white, and blue shirt by Diamond. I mean, it's a theme. This must be the Diamond box. But this is another Diamond Supply Co. shirt. You got the red, the white, and the blue. And if you guys don't know by now, white is my favorite kind of shirt. It just makes me feel so cool. Not cool in like I'm trying to stunt. But like just cool because you know like i'm hot and all that stuff so I, i'm really definitely gonna rock these because um or this because it's a white shirt and that's my favorite shirt and plus i really like them franchise boys back in the day you know yeah my white tee oh i think they like me all right last but not least we got a shirt oh this is a tank top sun's out guns out what is this called poor sport i think that's supposed to be like polo sport but it's poor sport so it's kind of like a parody because this is like really polo color scheme you got the red the white and the blue this is the memorial day box that's what i'm gonna call it because everything in here is red white or blue www.clsclife.com i don't know what that means but they're made in los angeles is it made in los angeles that's what it says 
this shirt was made in Los Angeles? I don't believe that. But that's what the patch says. It doesn't say like Vietnam or Honduras or anywhere. It just says made in Los Angeles right there on the patch. I'm not a huge tank top guy, guys. I mean, I don't, I mean, come on, like. You even lift, bro? Hell yeah, I do. Your boy can't rock the tank tops. I don't have the guns to rock the tank tops. So there you go, guys. That was the whole Thread Beast box. Again, if you're interested, you get over to threadbeast.com. I'll put the link in the description box below, but be sure to use that promo code Geronmon50. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have a Threadbeast subscription, tell me what kind of stuff you got in your last box in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. My name is Jaren. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. So I really don't know what to believe, but what I do believe is that these two shoes, the Kyrie 4s and the PG2s, look very, very similar to each other. So what's the deal here? Are these the Kyrie 4s? Are those the PG2s? Or are these both team models of the signature shoes? I have no idea.